Hello guys, welcome back to InfoSec Patch channel. In these next few videos, what I'm doing is setting up a small network to configure some VLANs, some trunks, some management VLANs to associate with my laptop so I can remotely manage it. And this is pretty much a very basic beginner's VLAN series. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned and let's get right into it. Thank you for viewing and don't forget, subscribe and like and share with the world. I appreciate it. Let's get it. Hello guys, welcome back to InfoSec Patch channel. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for everything everyone's doing been doing, subscribing, liking, sharing, it means so much to me. So without further ado, in these next few videos, what I want to do is set up a small network and do a couple of these objectives. We're going to build a basic, actually, whoops, this is going to be a four part. Okay. We're not going to do this part. Um, so we're going to build a network. We're going to build it out first, uh, have the topology set up, and then we're going to create VLANs and then assign switch ports to you know these specific VLANs that I have up here 10 20 and 199 is for management and this is where my laptop's going to come in and do the management when you're the network admin you're not going to physically be connected right so i just wanted to give a little intro about what we're going to be doing in these next few uh, videos hopefully it's maybe a four part depending on how much we get done and I want to try to explain as best as I can of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So without further ado, let's get started. And this is for, you know, obviously a, someone that's fresh off the boat, um, setting up Cisco switches, setting up Cisco equipment. And uh, hopefully this, been, this is going to be a fun little journey, all right? So let's get started. Okay, cool deal. So first we need some switches. So say... Um, we're going to use some 2960s, okay? Let's use two of these guys, okay? And we'll name this switch one and switch two, okay? That's the first thing. And, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're going to need some nodes. So let's go ahead and get P two PCs over here and then two PCs for Office 2, okay? We have these segmented in two different locations. Perfecto. Okay, so that's that. This, this. Okay, so now we just need to wire it up. Okay, so before we wire it up, let's assign documentation's key. Let's assign IP addresses. Okay, 192.168.1.101 or 100. I'll do this one. And, okay, and then PC2. 192.168.1.101. And this is all in the 24 bit mask. This is the this the subnet. So maybe let's uh, spread this out a little bit so it's not all over each other. Okay, so on this side, it's going to be PC3, and we're going to be on the 192.168.2.100. So we're going to be in that network on an Office 2. Okay, PC4, 192.168.2.101. Okay, perfect. So that is that is that so now let's get some straight through cables and set this up okay so from pc1 i want to go from zero interface to interface i'll start at interface two okay cool deal okay plug this into interface three boom and then we'll do the same thing over here what what did i do okay port two Okay, cool. Let's do the same thing over here. Port three. Oh, what am I doing? Maybe I'm clicking. Okay, so now we have the two offices wired up to the PCs, but now, remember, this is just building the topology. So now we're just going to go ahead into the PC and configure the IP address statically, okay? 192.168.1.100, and it's a 24 bit mass. So in dotted decimal, it's 255.255.255.0. Perfect. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Desktop 192.168.1.101, 24-bit mass, bada bing, bada boom. So technically, if we open this up, we can ping. If we do an IP config to verify, okay, we, if we ping 
192.168.101, it's pinging because it's on the same broadcast domain. And we're going to check that out in a second in um, switch one. So by default, when you have a Cisco switch, it has all the ports turned on by default, not like a router, they have them all shut down. And it's all the, all the ports are assigned to VLAN 1, which is the default VLAN. Best practices, just a FYI, if you're not using a switch port, you're going to make a dummy VLAN, like VLAN, I don't know, 1000 or VLAN 999, something like that, and put all the switch ports that you're not using, all the ports that you're not utilizing, throw it in this dummy VLAN and shut, that, shut them all down so you don't have no craziness that you have to worry about if me going in and plugging in a, a rogue access point or a rogue router to to you know do some <clears throat> excuse me do some malicious things or just it's for best practices right so we're going to check that out in a sec so this is this is uh, configured so let's go over to network 2 or office 2 and do the same thing we're going to configure this 192.168.2. 100, 24-bit mask, and I try not to go on a rant because I can talk for hours, and I don't want to make this uh, hour, hours worth of video so you, you don't get bored. All right, cool deal. So now this is um, 192.168.2.101. Now we're going to do the same thing. Let's go back and see here. Do an IP config. <clears throat> Excuse me. So from Office 2, I have, you know, I'm on that PC, quote unquote, right? And now I'm trying to ping from 101 to 100. And it should be successful. Bada bing, bada boom. So now, if we try to ping, this isn't obvious, but I want to show you. So if I'm, let's try to bring this over here. You can see? Yep. Cool. So if I'm on, I'm on this PC all the way over here, you see? But if I try to ping dot one dot 101 it's not going to ping because there's no connectivity between the two switches and later on in the series what i want to do is set up trunks set up vlans tag the trunks and do all that so you can see from here you can go cross this um cross the switch and hit the the appropriate vlan okay cool deal so let's x out of here let's go ahead and go into the switch now Okay, cool. See, as I said, we are in, we're in the switch, right? So if we do show VLAN brief, okay, you see all the ports are associated with VLAN 1, likewise for the other switch, okay? But, so what we're going to do now is, is do a basic configuration on, switch, on the switch, okay? I'm on switch 1. So first thing is first, let's go into configure terminal. This is how you are going to configure your switch. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is change my host name to switch one. Okay, and that is that. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, which is an, I like to do it, no domain lookup. Okay, and let me, uh, sorry about that, but let me uh, go ahead and do the question mark. So, no domain lookup. What is that? So question mark is everyone's best friend in Cisco. So get used to it. I use it every day. So this is going to enable IP domain name system host translation. Meaning, so say for example, I mistype something and I don't have this enabled. It's going to go ahead and try, it's going to lock up the switch and, and drive you nuts. So my, uh, my, uh, whoops, I like to I like to shut it off, okay? And you don't have to, but I'm just showing you my basic config, okay? So next thing is going to be service password encryption. This is going to encrypt the service password. Okay, so now we're going to do an, an enable password Cisco. We're going to make it really secure. Oh man, my back is hurting today. Um, okay, cool deal. So now the, now the next thing I normally do is going to be um, banner. And if I do banner and I do question mark, so MOTD, what is that? That's going to set the message of the day. So if you ever seen when you log into a switch, some people have an unauthorized um, banner saying, if you enter my switch or you try to attempt it, we can prosecute you, et cetera, et cetera. That's what this is. So we're going to do a message of the day. 
and then the pound sign and hit enter. Now we're going to enter the message of the day. Please stay away from my switch. Okay. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now we have the message of the day set up. Okay, so now we can do the line console zero. Okay, so now we can set up a password Cisco and then we can log in and then log in synchronous. So the message can so login synchronous is like when you're typing, if something happens on the switch, if someone plugs in, you know, and, and you don't get annoyed by that, the, the messages, um, it'll just start on the next line. Okay, perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll exit out of here, exit, sorry, and then we'll do line, and then we'll do VTY. So these are the virtual terminal lines, okay, for Telnet, SSH, etc. Okay. So VTY, and then we'll do 0 to 15. Perfect. And now let's do the password for that, Cisco, fancy Cisco. And then the same thing, login, synchronous. OK. And then log in, and then end. And then we're going to save that, OK, with WR. Perfect. OK, so now if we do show, run, config, so now you can see everything is in the running config. Okay, perfect. So now that's switch one. Now let's go ahead and go over to switch two and bang out the same. See like these messages? These are like the message what I was talking about. Okay, so let's do enable and configure terminal. And then we'll do the host name first. We'll do SW2, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'll do it a little quicker if I can, I'm not the best typer, so maybe it's not going to be quicker, but, and then enable password. Oh, actually what I'm going to do is the service, service password encryption, and then enable password Cisco, and then banner of the day. I think I said, please stay away from my switch. Switch. Thank you. Okay, I think that's what I put on the other one. I don't remember. But line, now we're going to do line console, zero. And then we're going to do login. Whoops, sorry, we need a password first. And then login. And then we're going to do login synchronous. Okay, and then line VTY 0 to 15. Okay, now we're going to do password Cisco. And then login synchronous. Login exit and the end. WR to write their config, and then we can do show running config. Okay, so that's your basic switch configuration um, right out of the box. That you know, I would do. This is very basic. You can get into the the enabling SSH and all that stuff, but you know, I'm just doing very basic stuff here. Um, so that's part one, right? This is the video one, and next we're gonna be setting up some VLANs on here maintaining the port assignments and the VLAN database, and then we'll configure these two to communicate over the trunk. Okay, we don't want to make it too deep, and then I want to get into like maybe a router on a stick config and some stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really want to say thank you for viewing, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share with your friends, and hopefully this is a learning process for you, and we all learn together in this in these videos. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you for viewing.